There's nothing quite like turning on a cooking show and hearing the soothing sounds of Gordon Ramsay screaming at a befuddled chef. One of Ramsay's most popular profanity-riddled shows was Kitchen Nightmares, where the hot-tempered Scottish chef helps struggling restaurants, mainly by shouting at them about fresh produce and frozen appetizers. By the end of each episode, the restaurant's inedible food and subpar service were usually transformed and saved from extinction, at least temporarily. Even though it went off the air in 2014, there are still plenty of behind-the-scenes secrets that you probably never knew about the popular restaurant makeover show? Here's the untold truth of Fox's Kitchen Nightmares. The Nightmare's Over Although Ramsay spent a glorious six and a half seasons transforming restaurants from one-star duds into passable eateries, apparently his professional magic wore off quickly. In 2014, shortly after Kitchen Nightmares ended, the Daily Mail reported that 60% of the restaurants that appeared on the show had closed. A spokesperson for Ramsay said at the time, you don't ask to take part in a show called Kitchen Nightmares if your restaurant business is booming, and therefore it is not surprising that many of the restaurants which Gordon had visited over the 10 years are now closed. As of 2018, only 15 out of the 77 that appeared on the show between 2007 and 2014 are still open. The Unluckiest Restaurant while most of the restaurants didn't exactly go on to have successful runs, some of the restaurants fared worse than others. According to the Daily Mail, one restaurant, The Black Pearl in New York, actually closed just four days after their episode aired. But Leela's in Pomona, California takes the cake. They closed before viewers even saw the episode. According to Screen Rant, the restaurant already faced struggles before Ramsay got in the door and was facing bankruptcy after only eight months in the business. After the episode was over, a message flashed on viewers' screen saying, the restaurant's debts were too much and it closed. Ruined Restaurant Although many of the restaurants featured on the show were happy to receive Ramsay's help, one chef in particular didn't mince words when it came to criticizing the changes the chef and his team made. Season 6's John Chapman, the owner of Chappie's on Church, told the National Enquirer, It was truly a kitchen nightmare for me. Gordon Ramsay destroyed my business. It looks like Chappie took a crappy in my gumbo. Chapman said that Ramsay redid the entire menu and that business subsequently went from about 200 customers a night to a mere table of patrons per evening. Chappies on Church closed in June 2013 for non-payment of taxes, only a month after the episode aired. Not staged The Amy's Baking Company episode of Kitchen Nightmares is probably the most infamous in the show's history, and the conflict was so severe that the crew didn't even get to complete their transformation. The owners of the now-closed eatery were notorious for threatening customers who left bad Yelp reviews and for posting long rants on social media. You are a little pansy. Get out of here. Don't you yeah. ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Apparently, the drama in the episode wasn't heightened for entertainment purposes either. One Medium blogger who was there during the filming of the two-part episode said, The epic blowouts were 100% true to form and not doctored for TV. I am going to really hurt somebody if they send back my cage. Real Ramsey Ramsey may be infamous for his nightmarish behavior on his shows, but apparently most of his on-air tantrums and profanity-laced rants are hammed up for the camera. When you were like a pig, you yeah. French pig! According to one of the show's crew members who did an Ask Me Anything on Reddit in 2013, you'll rarely see Ramsey get angry when the cameras are turned off. The crew member explained, he only gets mad when he has a reason to. Otherwise, he's a very funny and nice dude. You can even see that in all of his UK shows. The US versions like to selectively edit to play up the drama. Additionally, Ramsay may not actually be as involved with the participants as you'd think. One couple who appeared on the show in season three told the New Jersey Record in 2010 that they barely conversed with the chef at all, saying, you have no interaction with Ramsay at all. He comes with a very big machine of assistants and helpers. The only time I ever spent any time with him was on camera. Ramsey's Regret If you're a Kitchen Nightmares superfan who misses the show, Ramsey feels your pain. The popular show that launched Ramsey's TV career ended in 2014 in part because Ramsey was tired of the restaurants he fixed, reverting back to their old ways and failing. He told the New York Daily News in 2017, I got fed up with Kitchen Nightmares because I was getting so I woke up one morning and thought, I'm done. He added his remorse at the decision to pull his show off the air, which was admittedly made in anger, saying, Yes, it was wrong to pull my own show off the air, but that's it. The good news? Fans don't need to rely on old reruns to catch glimpses of their favorite restaurant makeover show. Kitchen Nightmares is back in a new form. Gordon Ramsay's 24 Hours to Hell and Back premiered on Fox in June 2018.